If you're working on a smaller display or just trying to optimize screen space, you may have noticed that VS Code's activity bar, which is the bar over here, which has things like the explorer, search, debug, it actually takes up quite a bit of space and it's always visible so that space is always going to be shown. Now you could go and actually hide the activity bar, but I'm gonna show you another way that lets you go and position the activity bar so that these icons are still visible, but they're going to be displayed inside of the views themselves. And that's called moving the activity bar to the top instead of in its current side position. So this is the default layout of the activity bar. You could also go and configure the activity bar to show on the opposite side of the window. Um, and this approach will work for both of those. So if we wanted to move the activity bar into a more compact layout, uh, we can just move it to the top. I'm gonna to open the command palette to do this. So I would say control shift P or command shift P and say move activity. And I want the view move activity bar to top command here. When I run this, you can see that the activity bar has currently uh, entirely disappeared, but it's actually still available. It's just hidden inside the view. So I can open up the sidebar um, just by using control B or command B, which is going to open up the sidebar. And now you can see that the activity bar is now living at the very top of the editor instead. So over in the sidebar, here is the activity bar. We can actually navigate to all the different sections that we had before. So debug, search, the explorer. It is just always going to be shown at the top here instead of over on the side as a permanent bar. Uh, and I find that this is pretty convenient. Again, once you hide the sidebar, which you can do again by pressing Control B or Command B, that activity bar is not going to show. But if you wanna ac access it again, you can just bring back the sidebar and then you get access to the activity bar. If we then want to restore the activity bar to its original position, we can go to the command palette again with Control Shift P or Command Shift P and say move activity. And we can say move activity bar to side. And this will restore the activity bar over in the side view here. Now you can also access both of these instead of running those commands, you can just right click in the activity bar itself. And then you can go down to activity bar position here and either say side, which is the current one, top like we were seeing before or hidden, which is going to hide the activity bar entirely. Uh, and just to show the difference between top and hidden. So when I go to hidden here, uh, you can see that there is no activity bar in the Explorer view here. So it has been hidden entirely. Um, we can restore the activity bar at this point by saying activity and we want to say focus activity bar this is going to go and restore the activity bar. And now we have the activity bar back. So again, three different options here, depending on what you like. You can have the default, which is the activity bar on the side. You can put the activity bar at the top, which I'll just go in here and right click on the activity bar and say top, that layout, or you can hide it entirely. Personally, I think having the activity bar at the top of the views over here, it's a nice compromise because the activity bar is not going to get in the way uh, when you maximize the editor and go and hide the sidebar, for instance but you still have quick access to all of the different views in the activity bar here. So that's a quick look at how you can get back some screen space by moving the activity bar into the top of the view itself.